Hey guys, it's me. I'm back with another plan with me from May 7th to May 13th. This is the weekend of Mother's Day, so I decided to pick a kid from my planning addictions. I decided to use both of the full boxes with the mother and the daughter and the mother and the son, which will signify my brother and me and my mom. So let's get to it. So of course, you're going to go ahead and see me, um, what is it? put the bottom washi on my hand and then rub it real good and then take it off. I'm just loosening up the adhesive so it will be forgiving when I lift it back up off of the paper if I need to. Um, this kit does come with date covers and the add-ons. Um, there is no extra charge to it. And I'm doing the same here with the other side of the bottom or the other side's bottom washi. Um, I don't know if I had a lot of things going on this week. I have to get my planner, my pre-planner. So let me go ahead and take that out. And you can see my hairs. This, is, this was filmed at like 4 in the morning. Like, no lie. I woke up extra early to film this. So instead of using glitter headers um, for this plan with me, I'm going to be using the headers that came with the kits themselves. And I'm going to go ahead and put down the full boxes. Um, I do PR for her shop. Her shop is My Planning Addictions. Uh, use code NOC30 for 30% off. It's NGOC30. Um, you also get my or an exclusive PR freebie uh, with my code. So let me flip to the page that I do this plan with me. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the full boxes and I'll and the headers and I'll be right back.
I'm still putting on the date covers. So, um, yeah. So you see the full sheet right there? All the date dots are gone because I used them for the other corresponding dates or the other spreads. So here I'm using a whiteout and the whiteout tool that I have is from BIC, B-I-C, whiteout, easy correct. It came in a pack of five from Walmart. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a date cover on top of that and then I'm gonna go to the other side and white out that page back as well. And then here I'm gonna go ahead and pull these sheets from Sarah Elizabeth Prince. Um, and I'm going with the lilac color, I believe, for the page flag, or light purple, whichever you call it. Um, I like these sheets. These are on glossy paper. She has frequent cells, so if I were you, I'll link down below her shop, and don't forget to follow her on Instagram. So, first things first, I think I'm going to do the sidebar. I'm not sure. I don't remember, because I filmed this a while back. Um, mm, what am I doing? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna work on the sidebar. So I'm grabbing a light blue colored uh, habit tracker. Check my vitamins, but I think I'm looking for a header that says remember, because I need to remember to take my vitamins. I'm very bad at taking my vitamins nonetheless. So here I'm searching to put um, remember on a washi strip, but most likely I should have picked the thicker one or the bigger one, whatever, but I didn't, so it doesn't show up as noticeable but whatever it's okay <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put down my vitamin um, tracker that's in the kit and then I'm taking the vitamin script oh I haven't done that yet hold on <laughs> so I'm taking the vitamin script from my planning addictions and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there and then I'm gonna use my weekly PR posts I, I PR for three shops currently so I'm gonna Go ahead and put three of those down um, along the sidebar. And then here I'm taking uh, this week washi or header and I'm lining it there and I'm going to go ahead and get a half box to mark the PGE cell and teacher appreciation week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lay the top and the bottom um, with um, some washi strips. Oh, right now that that is down, I'm going to go ahead and lay down a happy birthday sheet that I got from, uh-oh, from my planning addictions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and white out that dashed line in the back, didn't like that. My mom's birthday is also this week of Mother's Day as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab a pink, no, a blue, sorry, a blue half box. I'm going to mark that my daughter was sick on Thursday and Friday. Um, she didn't have a fever, she was just coughing and she couldn't keep down her, uh, her solids and she puked on Thursday so I decided to keep her home and I just decided to mark that in case you know school asked me about it but you see here that I'll figure out what full box I want to put at the bottom but I'll change it out and you know like I said get um, a half box to put there All right, moving on to Monday. Um, Starbucks run, it was the day of exams. I had exams all day that day. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this exam script from Prince and Co Studio. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and put a panda. That's from Lily Sky's Dream. It's a little panda studying. And then the next thing, I'm going to go ahead and grab a date night sheet from Pretty Little Cactus. It is her one of her character, Ellie. And to mark, we went to Longhorn Steakhouse for a late um, breakfast, kind of like brunch, lunch, I don't know. And then I wanted to mark my Happy Meal. I had a bunch of Happy Meal arrive that day, so I went ahead and got a quarter box and these Happy Meal mailers from My Planning Addictions. And moving on, I went ahead and um, we went to Baskin Robbins. I love their um, custom shakes. I, I always get the pistachio almond shake. It's like so good. Uh, what am I doing over here? So <laughs> I'm marking my, um, I don't watch shows, but they're more like dramas. Um, I watch the medical ones, like, you know, where they're always, I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and finish marking that. I'll be back. All right, now back to Monday. Okay, this is where I'm marking Basket Robbins. So I'm using this uh, sticker, I forgot which sheet it was from, but it was from a freebie sheet from one of the cells. Um, and I'm using it to mark my Baskin Robbins Pistachio Almond Shake. It is heaven. And then I'm moving on to Tuesday. Um, I put in a huge order from Hurricane Randy. I think she was having a sale, I wasn't too sure, but I saw her come out with a bunch of kits that I really had to have. If you've seen my sticker collection, um, I always buy from her shop a lot. Uh, she has the cutest kits ever, so I went ahead and took a little, I used one of the little things, and I just used the um, Etsy icon to cover up the icon that was on there, and then I'm going to mark that I bought from her. And then next, I'm going to mark that I rewind, did a rewind plan with me, and this sticker is from Sticker Bloom. She does have a website now, guys. Go ahead and head over to her website. The prices are a little bit more cheaper than on Etsy. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull in this Ellie YouTube binge from Pretty Little Cactus. I'm going to go ahead and put it on a half box. Yeah, half box. Um, because I YouTube binge literally like half the day. So I needed something to take up the space a little bit more. And then here, um, I studied all day because I had an exam on the 11th, so I'm going to go ahead and get this little girl with a laptop from Fabulously Planned Co. It's from her $1 Wednesday sheets, and then I put it on a half, I mean quarter box to mark that I studied. Then I'm grabbing this upload sticker from Sticker Bloom, again, that same sheet, um, to mark that I uploaded my pretty little cactus haul. If you haven't seen that haul, um, go ahead and check it out on my channel. It is a huge haul. I love her shop. I PR for her shop as well, guys. So moving on to Wednesday. Wednesday, um, I didn't, I think it was like a shopping day. So I'm pulling the sticker in from Pretty Little Cactus. It's Ellie Goes Shopping. I went to Walmart to grab a few things that I needed, you know, just out of the spur. I was looking for undo, but apparently they didn't have undo, so I grabbed other things. You know how you go into the store and you look for one thing, but you end up coming out of the store with like a bunch of things? That's what happened to me. And then here I'm taking a little thing, and then I'm taking the film slate from Prince, Prince and Co. Studio and covering up the little, you know, little thing, and then it means to signify to, you know, what is it? Film a new haul whatever and then I'm taking another sticker from pretty little cactus a little couple sticker and putting it on top of a half box to mark that we went to Thai cottage and Hobby Lobby together um, we took a quick lunch and then we stopped by Hobby Lobby and holy and behold I found um, undo there so yeah and then I'm using this pretty little cactus um, illegal shopping sticker from pretty little cactus as well we went to 
um, a few shops to buy Mother's Day gift and to buy ourselves some things. So yeah, I had quite fun. And he's oh, and he surprised me with a pair of shoes. So there you go. And then I'm using these two washi strips from the kit just to take up uh, a little bit of space because it looks kind of blank. And, uh, and then I'm going to, um, what am I doing? I don't know. My plan, I'm, my pre-planner is like not in front of me. So, okay. So I'm grabbing a YouTube binge from Pretty Little Cactus Shop. And I literally binged the whole entire night. Like, I don't know what I was doing. I was just binging. That's it. And then that night my mom cooked crawfish for the family. So I went and put a little things down there to mark that. And then I also forgot to mark that we had crawfish on Monday as well. So moving on to Thursday. I'm taking this um, Ellie Payday sticker from Pretty Little Cactus. And I'm going to go ahead and mark Payday because Payday is Thursday. Well, every now and then. I don't know. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on top of this washi strip from the kit. Just to mark its significance, you know? And then I think I'm having problems trying to center it or something. I don't know what I'm doing here. I really don't know. And now that that's finally done, um, I'm going to go ahead and mark that I brought Burger King breakfast for my aunt. She is visiting from overseas. She's still here. And I wanted her to indulge in, you know, American food. So I went and bought um, Burger King. I put it on a quarter box from the kit. And then I used this sticker from Craft Enchantment. She's almost going to open. I don't know on the exact date yet, but she did say on her Instagram page that she is going to open sometime soon. She's working on it. And then I used a kid's sick sticker for Jennifer to signify that she didn't go to school today. Um, I like to mark that just because I need it in, in case the school asks me and I have that. And then I, of course, grab the Happy Mail Mailer from my Planet Addictions and the Etsy shop icon from Hurricane Randy um, to mark PGE orders, meaning I ordered a bunch that day. And then I marked online assignments. Uh, I spent time on it because it was due Friday, so I had to get it done. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and get a quarter box, and I'm going to get this YouTube Ellie from Pretty Little Cactus, and I'm going to mark that I literally binged on haul videos, plan with me videos, and dance videos all day long. After That's my way of rewarding myself, I guess, for work, hard working. And then moving on to Friday, I wanted to mark my mom's birthday, so I got um, these stickers from Pretty Little Cactus. So I grabbed the girl that says, uh, happy birthday, throwing confetti, and a party hat. And I'm putting it on a half box. And then I'm going to go ahead and put like a little present from that same sheet. Just a little bit up there. Yeah, just to mark it. And then I'm getting this kid sick um, from My Planet Addictions. I stuck it to the side. I don't know why. And then I got this from, uh, I don't know what sheet this is from. I think this is from Craft Enchantment. The Payday stickers were from Craft Enchantment. I'm cutting off the Payday because that's not what I'm using the sticker for. I'm using the sticker for um, to mark my bank visit. And then I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. There. So now I finally put the kids six, uh, kids six sticker to mark that Jennifer also didn't go to school that day. And then I marked that I did my exam, and the script sticker is from Prince and Co. Studio. Then I think I'm going to go ahead and mark my paperwork, where I sat and did calculations all day. Um, I am a secretary for my, my family management, financial management. So I went ahead and got these stickers from the girl with the laptop from Fabulously Planned Co. I'm going to go ahead and stick it on um, a quarter box. And then following that, I'm gonna I'm grabbing um, the Ellie YouTube binge character, the one where she's holding the two banners that says YouTube binge from Pretty Little Cactus, and I'm putting it right stab dab in the middle because that's what I literally, literally did all day. And then moving on to Saturday and Sunday, um, I put in a couple hours this week, 
so I got these from Creative Cavern Studio. These are like old school work labels. These are like over a year old or more. Um, she no longer sells them in the style. She probably sells them in different ones, but I haven't been looking at her new shop yet, but I will one day. And moving on, um, I don't know what I'm doing because I'm moving around like crazy in this pile with me. Um, okay, so it looks like I'm taking washi from the kit. And then I'm putting it on the bottom of Saturday. And then I put the film slate on the side. Okay, now I'm sticking it back. I don't know. What am I doing? So I'm taking a YouTube binge from Pretty Little Cactus. And I'm putting it in the middle on top of that um, washi from the kit. To mark that I YouTube binge literally after work. Like, the whole entire day. And then I'm using another girl with a laptop from fabulously planned co to mark that I did more calculations I had to double check my calculations before I was able to sit down with the family and talk to you know like a family time to let us know if we should stop our spending limit our spending on stuff and then I used a little things strip to mark that we had a steak dinner my brother cooked dinner and then I'm using this little things to mark that I had to do a quick run to HEB to grab a few things from my brother to cook and then on Sunday, I'm putting down a half box to mark Mother's Day. And I think I'm grabbing um, another Ellie from that birthday sheet. That's blowing, blowing on the, blowing on the cake or blowing on the candle. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I lied. So I'm taking this church script from Sarah Elizabeth Prince. I was going to use the church for um, Sunday, but I didn't have enough space because I need to mark my work schedule on Sunday. So I just went with the script. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a little mini list and I grabbed the to buy header that's in the kit. And then I took the heart checklist strips. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down to where there's only two. I only need to do two main things of that day after work or I was at work and my mom asked me if I could go and grab some stuff, um, you know, last minute things for our whole mini celebration for Mother's Day. And then moving on to the last thing for Sunday, I took a half box and I'm going to go ahead and put that on the bottom and I'm marking the Mother's Day family dinner day that we're having and I'm using this big white out to white out the sides because the dash line peeks out and I didn't like how that looked. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the birthday Ellie sheet, grab the one with the balloons and adhere it there. And then I'm thinking, go backtracking to Saturday, so I put down a half box just to mark um, something important at work that I have to do that I can't disclose to you. And then here I'm going to go ahead and trim down the page flags. Finally, finally, finally. So I went and looked at this functional sheet that I realized I didn't use too many of the items on here. So what I did was I grabbed the Hello Weekend script and I adhered it to the bottom. And then I adhered, I think, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I was trying to see if shopping time would fit in that little space, but it didn't. So I took the laundry day sticker and put it on the bottom because I did do laundry on Friday, but I didn't have enough room to mark it as you can see. And I was thinking of putting the tissue paper on, you know, icon on there to mark that we're sick. She was sick, but the icon was too big. So what I did was I used a half box, like I said in the beginning, to mark that she was sick. <laughs> and 
And then I think I grabbed uh, a washi from the kit to put on the very bottom, just to cover up to occupy that space. And there you have it. That is my weekly spread, y'all, for May 7th. Ooh, May 7th to May 13th. I hope y'all liked it. I'm going to go ahead and fill it out. As always, happy planning, happy home.